Well, hello, church, and welcome to the Midweek Pastors Update, this time for Thursday, June 10th, 2021. Well, as you can tell by the way I look, I'm kind of roughing it right now. I'm taking advantage of this incredible, very atypical week of weather we've been having uh, to get as much done outside as I can. So I've been playing in the dirt and the rocks, and um, it's not very fun but it's been productive. So uh, also we will be uh, traveling uh, as of next week from Tuesday the 15th of June. We will be away till the 24th. So that's a, that's a starting point for this update then. Uh, we're gonna be taking a vacation, going to visit family back in New Hampshire and in Vermont. Um, first time since COVID, since maybe a year before COVID, it's been a while. So um, I hope you're all getting those opportunities coming your way too and, and kind of finding your way into, you know, widening the circles here um, as we basically step out of our pandemic. Um, according to everything I've seen, I haven't seen any changes. Uh, June 15th is the date when California is, uh, I think, kind of moving, I guess I'd call it into a home free uh, state uh, of, of a way of being so no requirement for masks um, so at that time um, and really I think as of this coming Sunday really we're we're practicing we're still doing um, distance in terms of the pews but we're going to be a little more um, flexible with the way we do masks going forward insofar as if it fits, if it's in alignment with where the state is, where the federal regulations are, um, then we'll, we'll do that. So that's where things are going. Um, and it's just much easier to sing and to speak and to hear one another without masks. So look forward to that. Um, when I'm away for, let's see, the Sunday is the 20th, June 20th. Um, Richard March will be preaching, and I'm excited. I, I The only thing I don't like about these things is I have to go away in order to get these uh, special speakers sometimes. Um, you know, his is a voice that we've been able to hear in uh, bits and pieces here and there, you know, introducing an anthem. The choir certainly knows um, his heart and his faith, but uh, I know he'll do a wonderful job um, sharing the message, sharing the word and the spirit of, of his faith as it comes through um, in his sermon on Sunday. So he'll be preaching. And then I'm also so thankful for Jane Roach, uh, who will be leading the prayer time and the welcoming portion. Um, so it's gonna kind of be a leadership from our music end uh, for that for that Sunday, but uh, you're in good hands. You're in good hands. They've been going through this. Uh, they, they know how things work and well, we all do it together, right? So uh, it, it'll be wonderful. I'm just sorry I have to miss it. Um, let's see. Uh, we've got um, a return to doing those radio shows. We're going to be doing some more of them in the summertime. And uh, they're going to be slightly different. Um, well, they're still going to be Saturdays. So you'll see this. It's going to be uh, June 26th, uh, July 10th. And August 21st. Those are all Saturdays. It's all going to be at 7 p.m. And here's the catch. It'll be inside because it's just too hot to do it outside. Well, normally it's too hot. These days it hasn't been, but probably by the time June 26th comes around, it'll be nice to be inside. We're going to do it in, in Over Miller Hall. Now, in order to save on, you know, custodial need or, you know, just kind of keep things as simple as possible, we're still going to ask you to bring your own chair. Okay, I, I know it seems a little weird, but that's what we're gonna do. Uh, we're gonna start with that anyway, and uh, and we'll see. You know, I mean, we do have stacks of chairs in Over Miller, so it might be that we just sort of grab a chair and then put it back kind of thing. I'm okay with that if you decide to do that as church members. But um, we're still advertising in the community that it's bring your own chair, bring your own food, bring your own drinks, but you're free to have, um, you know, to be kind of just enjoy yourselves uh, inside the hall this time and uh, and the radio shows will, will happen again. Um, so anyway, that's uh, that's also the same as it has been, free of charge, although there'll be a donation accepted 
Um, and it's just been, it's been awesome to be a part of those and it's been a real joy um, to present them, but to, but to see your uh, participation and your enjoyment of them as we do this. Plus, as I've said before, uh, maybe in one of these uh, updates, a lot of those people who are in this, the radio shows are also in Drowsy Chaperone. So it's sort of like you're getting introduced to them, you know, at, in their personalities a little bit. And it'll just, I think it'll enhance the whole experience of Drowsy Chaperone. You know, that play I've been in for like two years now that's about to finally go off. Well, that's, uh, let's see, the run of Drowsy is September 4th to the 19th. As of now, I, I, I'm pretty, I'm feeling pretty good that that's what's, what it's going to be. So if you've already got tickets, your tickets will just transfer over, you know, to the same show, same date, you know, or same roughly, you know. If you were going the third Saturday uh, previously, you'll be still at the third Saturday show or whatever. They, they coordinate all of that. And if you haven't got your tickets, well, what's stopping you? Get them. Uh, last thing I want to share is a little bit of, um, well, some news that I shared at uh, Council this past Tuesday. And that is that our dear and beloved Barbara Grandstaff has decided that it is uh, time for her to retire from her position as our office manager. And um, I find myself, you know, feeling so grateful for the nine years, uh, nearly nine years. I mean, she was there basically. When I came on in March of 2012, we had just hired um, a church secretary at that time. And by the end of the summer, she had moved on to something else. It was a better opportunity for her. And then Barbara stepped in on a interim basis and it ended up being a long lasting one and I'm just so uh, thankful for her knowledge of you know the history and the ins and outs and the inner workings of this church and and her ability to navigate all sorts of different things you know as they come and uh, and, and a church like ours there's always so much coming at you from a whole bunch of different sides information that needs to be disseminated things to take in things to digest things to put out there again it's a lot of moving parts and um, I'm just grateful I'm grateful for her expertise I'm grateful for her wisdom and most of all for her friendship and uh, the latter two won't change um, in terms of wisdom friendship um, the skill set will be will be utilized differently and we'll welcome her back to just being a member of the church as opposed to our church secretary and I guess that can be a transition but um, Barbara thank you for for everything you've done and uh, when you see Barb um, please do extend that um, gratitude um, for for the service that she's given this church for for these past nine years but but longer than that just in other ways um, the search then for Someone to uh, take her place uh, in the office manager role is un underway, and um, we'll be starting that process uh, in as quickly and as, as timely a manner as possible with the personnel committee. But anyway, I just wanted to share that with the larger church, um, since that's kind of you know something that um, well, I suppose a lot of us would be interested to know, and it's important. It's important to share it these days. Um, not easy to get everyone get the word out to everyone so there you have it well friends i'm gonna get back to work a little bit uh, while i have this beautiful day left and i hope maybe one of these updates i'll have something nice to show you in the backyard here right now it's just a dirt pile with stones but that's how you know the, the best sculptures start with just a piece of stone, right? A big rock or a piece of clay. So that's kind of where I am. I'm working on the bringing out the beauty, bringing out the art from the, from the materials that we're working with. So until we meet again, I hope you're all well. I hope you're all able to, um, as I said, just enjoy the space, the, 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 the climate, um, the connection with one another, if possible. And until we... Uh, Till our paths meet again, may you all be held in the peace and in the love of Christ.